Hello, welcome to watch the next video. In this video, we are focusing more on technology and techniques on filming with the drone, which I used uh, filming the Espon Lahti water tower. We have the other video, which is telling about the water tower more. And it's, it's a little bit shorter than this one. So in this video, you can see uh, we are nearing the water tower and from top left corner you are seeing what the uh, pilot is used seeing so I am seeing from my remote during the filming in this part I was using the waypoints to to get a little bit smooth ride so in this case it is actually very difficult to have this kind of turns and such in manual mode very smooth and this uh, waypointing makes it much easier when the system itself is uh, is doing this kind of like a smooth um, movement in this case I was not able to make the waypoints uh, perfectly as you can see the water tower is not nearby the, what it is in the center it's actually the uh, fire department so fire station and not the water tower itself so that is also a problem in the waypoints that you cannot really see it before you run it that how it actually behaves and uh, but one strength other strength of the waypoints is of course you can store it within the drone and then you can do the same uh, filming again and again if you want to do the same place uh, multiple times in for example different times of the day or different times of the season so it is then easy to do kind of like the same video uh, multiple times I also did a drone from the water tower I didn't use this uh, drone in the actual video because I saw that this is a little bit too slow paced and not so how to say it doesn't get correct feeling but uh, the drone is the automatic program which just goes you take it from the nearby and then it automatically goes farther away from the subject you have chosen and it's that the second which I didn't use in the actual video is the automatic circling so this is making a circle around the object you choose so this is basically the same as the my hyperlapse uh, from from this particular water tower but uh, it is just making it in real time As a last thing, I wish to show you that you are able to do a mapping with the drone. So what is very interesting that this 3D model you can see is done just taking a few pictures from the water tower. You can also see the surrounding but to be honest the pictures were done specifically to to make the water tower uh, as accurate as possible so the rest is basically just the leftover uh, results and and that can be seen if you take the show cameras you can see that when taking the photos I have done circles around the water tower specifically and uh, taking the photos from the water tower and in this case actually the trees are causing a hefty problem because I didn't want to go uh, too near the trees so actually the photos from underneath are not that great you can also see I actually have chosen this one so we can highlight just the water tower section which is uh, reasonably good and this is not textured model so let's put textured model on so so you can see that it is actually very quite accurate 3d model 
but we can also see some defects like here you can see that it is not calculating the 3d model itself properly as as it is taking it like this that this is of course not reality it's it's more about reflections from the trees which becomes a part of the 3d model there but i think this problem is definitely because i didn't want to go too near the trees and, and uh, uh, possibly cause a crash but you are able to do this kind of like full 3d model from uh, just from the photos and the drone is is perfect uh, tool for that the second thing what you can do is that you are able to do a 2d D photo it is basically a google maps but in this case this is looking like it exploded but again need to remember why it is so it is because all the pictures are uh, rotated to the water tower these are not properly done pictures it is just trying to figure out something and when we are looking the water tower itself it actually looks decent also from here but this is a topic which I will be improving in the next ones and, and I will take a better photos also from that which is also very interesting is that we can do a surface model which is giving that how high different locations are but this is one of the topic which I see one of the most interesting parts of drone flying that you can do this kind of mapping of uh, like uh, space picture which is in the Google Maps or then you can do like total 3D models. So thank you for joining this technique video and uh, let's see in the next one. Thanks and bye.